Hi, this is McCoy Buck, and in this video, we're gonna finish up our animation by fixing the rotation on the arms and giving his head a little bit of a bob or a secondary action as he's walking. So right now, if we hit play, you can see the arms are pretty stiff. They're just going duh, 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 kind of robotic-like back and forth, and we wanna fix that. So one of the first things that we're gonna do is we're gonna focus on the rotation of these main bones right here on his arms. So with the rotate tool selected, we're gonna be doing forward kinematics. So I'm gonna click on his right arm. And to make this a lot more subtle for the movement, what I need to do is create keyframes showing that I'm slowing into this position. So this is my contact position or the most extreme position. And right now you can just see it's going duh, duh, and it's just kind of quickly going from pose to pose. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this first keyframe and I'm going to go out about one, two, three, four, and I'm going to paste that pose. Now I'll explain what I'm doing and I'm going to do the same thing. One, two, three, four, and paste that pose. So right here, I have the exact same pose holding for all three keyframes. However, I want this to be a very smooth transition into what's called the extreme position in this pose. So we're in the arm is rotating the most. So to make that as subtle as possible, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take this first set of keyframes that are right before that contact position, and I'm just gonna slightly move them over to right about there. So you can see there's a little bit of movement going into that contact position, and this is gonna make it a lot more smooth transitioning out. So what I'm going to do now is I'm also going to copy that position and I'm going to paste it here. All right, and it's kind of hard to see, but it's very subtle. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag that out just a little bit more. All right, and you can see that's a lot more smoother coming in and out of that position there. So really smoothly, it's going into that main pose and then really smoothly it's going out and then back to that main pose. And so we want to do the same thing for this position, but this one's gonna be a little bit tricky because now we're on a loop. So now what I have to figure out is I have, okay, one, two, three, four, five, six keyframes here. And actually let's see if that matches up on the same side. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I actually had that wrong. So I'm gonna move that in just a little bit there. And I wanna do that for this position as well. So I'm gonna take this main position and I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, and I'm going to paste that. And because this is the same position here and I want to make this same pose, I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, and paste that. So this part's a little bit tricky because you gotta think on a loop. But now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take this rotation, I'm going to slightly rotate it to right about there. Now I'm gonna take that rotation and I'm gonna copy and I'm going to paste it here. So now let's see what that looks like. All right, so as you can see, you got a lot smoother rotation. You can look at how smooth that is compared to the back. The back's still very stiff. So we wanna do the same thing for that other arm. So real quick, I'm gonna grab that. And I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six. Copy and paste that same position. And then just take it down just a little bit. And I'm gonna take that and it counts down one, two, three, four, five, six, so that I have that hold going on for that arm. So now let's go ahead and hit play. All right, and you can see it's working pretty good there. It's kind of hard to see. So real quick, let's go ahead and do the same for this. One, two, three, four, five, six, paste. And one, two, three, four, five, six, paste. And this is a keyboard shortcut that I'm using. I forgot to mention, but this is control. And then with my arrow keys, I'm able to move one frame. So now I want to do the same thing. I want to have that pose just a little bit before, and I'm gonna take that pose and I'm going to copy it. All right, so now let's go ahead and hit play. And you can see we got a lot more smoother action going on there. Now when you're walking, you know your arms aren't going to be in an 80 degree angle like that the entire time. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna imagine to right about here, his arms are gonna be straightening out. So let's go ahead and let's just set that pose. So now we're gonna be creating a new set of keyframes. So let's go ahead and do that. So right about here, I'm gonna say, okay, his arms are straightening out. 
as he's coming back, right about here, his arm is going to be straightened out. And then it's going to go into this position. So let's go ahead and see what that looks like. Okay, so you can see there's a, there's a really fast movement going back to that position. So we probably want to keep it a little less extreme. And also the same thing, as you're watching his arm, it's going forward and then it's going backwards pretty quickly. We can also fix that so it's smoother But for the most part, that looks pretty good. Now let's go ahead and let's fix his back arm there as well. Let's say right about here, rotates down a little bit more. And then right about here, it drags out a little bit more. So let's just see what that looks like. All right, so that back arm is now going pretty quick. So let's go ahead and let's give it a little less extreme rotation. And let's set that key in a little bit further in. All right, that looks pretty good. Now again, the same thing, what we can do for this arm now is we can do what's called overlapping action. So what we're gonna do is we're going to take and we're gonna do the same type of thing that we did for the rotation for this arm. So I'm gonna hit Control C and then go out about three frames, control V, and I'm gonna paste. So now what you're gonna see is this arm position staying in that same position for holding that position a little bit longer. And if I wanted to, I can give it a little bit more rotation. However, I just wanna be mindful of this rotation here and how quickly it's gonna come. So let's just see what this looks like. Okay, so you can see he curls up his arm a little bit higher and that's probably not gonna be needed. So I'm just going to, again, just copy and paste those original frames into that position and just slightly move his arm down a little bit more. And you can see that's a little bit too much. So I'm just gonna control, control copy and paste and maybe bring that out a little bit further. And that looks pretty good. And that back arm already looks pretty good as well. You can see it has a little bit of a lift as it gets to that contact position. We can create a little bit of a drag too on this arm. So as his arm's going forward, it's kind of trailing behind a little bit. Oops, and I think I set a keyframe on the wrong bone. So let's see what here. Okay, so I got that bone. Again, we can have it drag out a little bit more. And let's do the same thing for this arm. It's not too much going on, so let's go ahead and let's just drag that out a little bit. So that's got a little bit of snap on his arm as he's walking back forward. All right, now for the most part, that looks pretty good. The last part that we're gonna be focusing on for this walk cycle is his head. We're gonna give it a little bit of a bobble. In more advanced tutorials that we hope to get to in the future, we're gonna be creating mesh for the hair and attaching bones to those so we can get some overlapping action on the hair. So as he's walking, his, ha his hair is bouncing up and down a little bit. But that will be more advanced tutorials. For this next video, this is gonna be the last video to wrap everything up. We're gonna work with the head and we're going to finalize this character so you can use it in your game. And I will see you in the next video.